<laughs> Sorry, Taylor. Our luck is not finished yet. Yes, there's the Inkuma Pride all lying in the grass. Hello, Inkuma Pride. I'm not even joking. There's the whole Inkuma Pride spread out with two of the Birmingham males. <laughs> ah, so much fun. What are the chances that these guys would be all here? Now, I'm just going to get around so we can position ourselves slightly better with the sun being where it is. But they are literally just spread all over the place. Four females on one side, one female lying closer towards the Birmingham's, the female with the bad back, and then the two Birmingham boys. Now, it looks like Mfumo and Tinyo that we've got with us. So there they are. And then the rest of the Nkuma Pride spread like a carpet across this open clearing. So isn't this wonderful? Who would have thought we would have found this lot lying out here? And they seem as though they've not really fed too much. Although the one Birmingham's got a bit of a full belly, so maybe he's had something. But the rest of the Pride looks fairly thin and as though they haven't eaten too much. But it can probably hear from my cap how the wind is absolutely howling so I'm surprised that they're all lying right out in the open but there they're all stretched out all the way along to that side so there's the four females on that side which is the bulk of them the injured female is the one that's closest to us she's there oh that's the injured female you can just see a little bit of that injury on the side there unfortunately but not looking too bad otherwise the rest of her body condition is fairly good so she's at least looking still quite healthy it's not like she's emaciated or skinny in any way so she's looking okay the rest of them well they look fairly sedate and as though they're all going to sleep and it must be quite difficult for this pride at the moment in terms of finding food so in terms of finding food for this many lions especially with these sub adults growing the size that they are it must be quite tough to feed all of these mouths these days so it means that these guys are going to be looking for buffalo a lot but not finding it so they're gonna to have to be relying on small things like impalas and kudu and nyala and those kind of things just to sustain themselves until buffalo do arrive back in this area now, i believe some of you are saying that we have all the luck and that's we are the cat whisperers well no I, I don't think so like i say we just it's this time of the year it's always the silly season around the dry period and this is why i love september october i always say it's my favorite time of the year and the reason why is this was because it's typically at the driest point but we're getting the warmer temperatures which means we don't have to stress too much about getting cold although today <laughs> it is fairly cold but the cats come out and well, all animals do because they're so dry they all have to congregate around certain areas and that makes it then much easier for us to find them so i'm just lucky at the moment that's all i, I think it's senzo and seb that bring all the luck i just uh i just drive where they tell me to <laughs> but everybody is looking very sedate but there is a lot of blood on their faces uh they did get something so if you look at the female that's actually got the injury so tinyo you can see his belly's quite full but if you look at the female's mouth that's got the injury if we go tight in there it looks like there's blood on that muzzle there we go you can see that sort of reddish smudge that she's got so they definitely caught something last night so what it was is anyone's guess is not really full bellies so i think they must have had something relatively small it also looks like tinyo ate most of it in that whole feeding process because his belly is the biggest of them all Mr. P and, uh, and lots of others want to know how or well, what I think and how she got injured. Uh, uh, addressed it to this the other day, uh, I'm not sure. And she went into the Kruger Park and have no idea. And one of my friends that is here at the moment, he's a vet, and we were chatting about it last night um, as to what the wound could have been caused by. And he's even not sure himself. He was thinking maybe a buffalo, but there's no hole there that would define a buffalo's horn, so it's difficult to say. But either way, whatever it was got hold of her, and then it either ripped up and, and pulled a chunk off so it could have been something like a lion or a hyena but there's no other sort of defensive wounds on her body so there's no bite marks around her legs or even along her spine area so difficult to say what exactly is caused it could have been a buffalo that like I said got to her it could have been lions it could have been hyenas there's so many different causes of that but she'll be all right like I said it looks really bad and it's and it looks pretty 
gross and, and as though she's going to have a tough time of it, but you will be surprised just how resilient wild animals are and how they're able to survive with this. In fact, a friend of mine that is the vet was telling me last night about a wild dog that they treated that had lost its pretty much its entire right face right hand side of its face so there was no skin there was no ear or anything and he said within three months if you looked at that cat you i mean that wild dog you would be completely shocked as to how well it recovered the skin all grew back and the dog itself was fine other than the lost eye it was actually okay so i think she'll be all right it's it's really dried up quite a bit which is a good thing as soon as we start to see that drying effect like that it means that it's the healing process is just starting to happen and i'm pretty sure she'll be okay but I don't know if you can hear that, just how hard this wind is blowing today. It is not that pleasant at all. The wind is really howling through this area. I wonder if this is where the Nkuma Pride is going to spend the day. It, I would have imagined them not to have been so out in the open with the wind. But maybe given the fact that they're all in an absolutely flat position, they're kind of underneath the wind, so to speak. And So maybe it's a lot better where they are. And if there does get a little bit of sun which i don't think we're going to get too much of it seems the, the front is starting to arrive now there's clouds that are coming then they will at least enjoy a bit of warm sun on them so i reckon this is where we'll find the Nkuma pride this afternoon still sleeping in this area and won't it be wonderful to come and spend some time with them this evening and hope that they all start to roar because if the two boys are here they might roar and that might trigger everybody else roaring i don't know have we ever had the little sub adults roaring certainly not since i've been here have I even heard them make a peep? So it would be nice to see if the boys would bring out the roars in our little sub-adults and see if they can actually make a bit of noise. Right. Our Inkahuma Pride and Birmingham are as sleepy as sleepy could be but we will spend some time with them i'm thinking maybe if it starts to warm up they might pop their heads up but i believe brent is out of full force and has found lines of his own to complete a lion trifecta 